What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and click the tap bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new. So as usual my people may have some things I'm gonna share with you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna share with you know, is a vendor we get can up and drop out in our Westmoreland. See? A vendor was shot dead in the head by a gunman on a motorcycle while unloading his fruits at the Savannah Lamar market in Westmoreland this morning. He has been identified as 55-year-old Owen James of Mafuta District in St. James. The police report that about 6.10, the vendor was removing fruits from his motor vehicle when a motorcycle with two men aboard drove up. One of the men pulled a firearm and shot James in the head. The men then ride off. James was subsequently taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. The police say the investigation is in its early stage. Today's fatal gun attack comes on the heels of a series of robberies and murders reportedly being carried out by a syndicate of criminals from across Westmoreland. The syndicate has reportedly formed an alliance with other criminals from outside of the parish who are now targeting business establishments including supermarkets and bars their activities has left operators on edge fearing for their lives workers and their properties our news team has been informed that the police will be meeting with business owners tomorrow evening to collaborate and strategize towards stemming the surge in robberies and murders i am confident that it's only a matter of time before we crush the latest surge which we believe is being committed by greedy reckless ter terrorists who are hellbent on creating mayhem in the parish, said Deputy Superintendent of Police Adrian Hamilton, who heads operations portfolio in the Westmoreland Police Division in an interview with our news team. So people, look like said the Yuletide season has come up and them people here, them get extra, extra and the robbery and the killings in our Westmoreland. First time in the people, don't them the part there, you know. Be a peace and quiet in a bridging. You see me, I say, my great grandmother used to live down there. You see it? And I go down there. I don't remember how much time I go down there when I was You see me, I say, be a wilderness and sitting. It look like say, the rural areas them in a Jamaica, you know, then turn upside down. And for the man them, we come from town or something. Enough of them come down here. Come in at the rural areas, them. You understand? Come broke out enough of the youth, them. So, leave your comment in the comment section. And we are going to move on, my people. Probe launch after cops nephew found dead at St. Catherine home. Why, people? Me read that one here. And me not lie. You hurt me heart. An investigation has been launched after the 12-year-old nephew of a police woman was found shot to death in Snake Hill District in Point Hill, St. Catherine, on Saturday. The child, identified as Marco Brown, a student of Jonathan Grant High School, was with his mother at their home where the cop was visiting. Reports reaching our news team indicate that the cop, a constable, went to the home and the mother was combing her ear outside a loud explosion was heard inside and upon investigating the child was seen lying on the floor beside a bed with a g-u-n-s-h-o-t wound to the head the cop's service firearm was found in her handbag on the bed beside him the firearm muzzle was turned upwards the authorities were called and the scene was processed so more than to not tell more than think go on here some people believe me i don't know if you say go on more than maybe the youth are play with the machine i'm sitting at the bag and i play with it i want to just squeeze out it you know what i mean that's all i can say i can't say no full play go on here so you know what i mean so leave your comment i make me know what you think 20 year old man charged following Manchester gun attack. A 20 year old man, 28 year old man, has been charged after he allegedly shot and wounded two men on Bethel Street, Greenville, 
in Manchester last month. Charge is Akeem Barrett, otherwise called Boise, a construction worker of Three Chains District in the parish. He was charged with shooting with intent, ag aggravated assault, wounding with intent, possession of a prohibited weapon, and using a firearm to commit a felony. Reports from the Mandeville police are that about 4.40 a.m., two men were walking White Avenue, Mandeville, when they were allegedly pounced upon by Barrett, who was traveling in a motor car with an accomplice. Barrett allegedly then shot the men multiple times. The police were alerted and both men were taken to hospital where they were admitted for treatment. Following an investigation into the incident, Barrett was arrested. He was charged after he was questioned in the presence of his attorney. Barrett accomplice is currently being sought by the police. Jaja. Boy, my people, every day we see them things you know? You see what I say? So, I don't go judge what you are so still, you know, because I tell the people, in you know, Jamaica is a very, very messed up place. You see them youth, you know what it is? Them no love each other again. The least little thing, jump off, I kill them one and kill one another. May I tell you, back in our days when we are youth, I come up and I play football and them something there. May I tell you, no, say people, if something kick off, a man maybe thump it out, I grab a big stone, I draw for a big tick, and I decide it done in you know, people. You see me, I say, but them are youth, you know what it is? A gun them want to go for and shoot people. The least little thing a man want to go for a gun and shoot a person. Them people here make it look like say boy, your life no matter, none at all. The least little thing, you know what I mean? A man want to dirt you. And them love for them life too, you know. And them would want that to happen to them. You see me I say? So people, we have to just live in our love and peace. Walk away from an argument. Walk away from a situation. You see me I say? I'll do as me say. Me no know what really go on. Yes, but something must go on for this come happen. You see it? Don't take up the line on your own and people. That me I tell you. You see me I say? So, let me know what you think in the comment section and we are going to move on. So, in a St. James and all people, a man juke up a next man after them in a some kind of argument. You see it? So, this is what them say I'm seeing. A man has been charged after he allegedly stabbed another several times during an argument in Hampton, St. James in August. Charged with wounding with intent is 55-year-old Enzel Reed of Hampton District in the parish. Reports are that about 12.13 p.m. Reed was arguing with another man when he allegedly used a knife to stab the man several times. The police were alerted and the man was taken to hospital where he was admitted for treatment. An investigation was launched and Reed was arrested on Saturday, December 2. He was charged after he underwent a question and answer session in the presence of his attorney. Some people too at temper more while people don't have to calm down. You know what I mean? And as me say, walk away from an argument. So people, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Bless upon yourself. Like and subscribe. Until me drop a next video.